Hello, I'm Cisco. Like this video, this video and subscribe to WD18 on YouTube. Come on, you arms. Hello, welcome to WD18, the Watford fan channel. We've got a really special video today. Uh, we're delighted to be joined by former Watford head coach, former promotion winning head coach, Cisco Munoz to the channel. Cisco, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on the channel, mate. Thank you so much for coming on. Um, you're looking amazing. You're looking well. How's life at the minute for you? Uh, uh, right now, I'm, uh, I'm in Cyprus. Uh, good weather. Uh, it's good. I think it's uh, also we are ready and always uh, we are thinking for, for the future and we are uh, checking new experience and uh, good things. Imagine the weather's pretty nice out there, right? I can see the tan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's very good weather here. It's very, very good weather. Very good weather. What a man. Uh, as I say, pleasure to have you on today, Cisco. We're going to basically go through your whole time at Watford. And it's fair to say every, I'm, I'm pretty sure every Watford fan holds you, holds you dear in their heart just for what you did at the football club and the connection you built, particularly during COVID and lockdown and everything going on. So we want to take it right back to the start. How did the job... Uh, the Watford job come about? How did you find out about the move? And, and yeah, how, how did it all come about when you joined? Uh, the first of all, I want to say thank you also, because uh, I'm enjoying today afternoon when we prepare the interview and we are thinking about about uh, uh, two years ago, more or less. And, uh, uh, wow, well, about uh, your question, uh, I remember when I was in, in Georgia, in Dinamo and Tbilisi, and uh, we won two times the the championship there, and they finished in December, and uh, they put me in contact with me, and it was very fast. It was very fast. We have uh, uh, some meetings with uh, with the people is working in uh, in Watford, and uh, it was very well. And after I have the timing for the holidays and stay at home with the with the family, and when I arrived to Spain, and immediately they called me, okay. You can, uh, you are the manager for, for the Nets. And I say, okay, <laughs> I immediately take my bags and I go immediately to, to the airport and I go to England and it was an amazing, amazing experience. Amazing experience. Watford went on an unbelievable run uh, towards the end of the championship season. Um, do you think that came about when Watford switched from a four, to a 4-3-3 three, three, um, at the Bristol City game? Or do you think it was something else? Uh, you know, I don't know if you remember our first games, uh, Norwich, uh, Manchester United and Swansea. Norwich in this moment was the top team. They have a very good, uh, uh, they have the control in all the situation in the game. It's a stronger team. It's uh, And uh, we try and we start the process, no? We say, okay, it's uh, we try the stop, we need a clean sheet, so we need a give the more order and I think when we start at four four two I think it's the same the system try to give a more order and have a good space in all the in all the in all the place in the in the pitch. And uh, the second one because we play four three three after but we defense four four two. You know it's depends uh, sometimes we need and we need have uh, and we need to send the new message for the players and we need to send the new new ideas. And the players recite, you know, and this is, I think, it was one of the uh, success in the in the team because and after the team growing up, the, the team improved a lot of things. And when it finished, we have the control with uh, a different situation of uh, of the games. No, we have uh, stronger with the four four two in defense. We are stronger sometimes when we start like three five two. Sometimes like uh, we have a different, and we are like. Uh, uh, Camaleon uh, situation and the Camaleon systems, no. And uh, for me, it's, uh, when you can give this uh, this message for the players, is very well. But uh, it's true. The first game is was like this, and after the process, is al always is try the the give a different uh, have a different controls for for sometimes the the games need uh, another things. No, uh, I don't know how many won we had in the last in the last games. No, I don't know. I don't remember exactly how many, but uh, it's uh, for me is the the best condition for the one team or the best condition for the one person is uh, the capacity for to learn. If they have the capacity for to learn and uh, in good situation, in bad situation, because sometimes uh, you know 
more than me or like me the championship the championship is the details mm. the championship is the details you know and the details is very important and this situation is like that and uh, i think the team was ready and uh, one of the things when uh, the last games uh, and after i won't tell you because i was very sad when uh, when we promoted i was very sad after two days because uh, you are thinking the idea is clear the team is ready everything is perfect and you need to start new you know when uh, sometimes is a difficult i think in this moment we had a bit connection with everyone the the people was ready for send all the message you can send for for them and they recite and they recite and they give the best level uh, they can give in the in all the performance you know and uh, this is i think is one of the parts important for the team arrive in the final with the, this security you know i think mm-hmm. everybody was the security everybody feel the team is uh, constant and everybody know the team know what we do or what they did in this case no it's uh, it's uh, only like this Cisco, you talk about the connection that you had with the players. Um, one of the things for me as a, as a fan that I always remember about you, your time at the club was the connection you had with, with the fans and the supporters. Um, considering at the time we weren't in the stadium and it was during COVID and it was locked down and we, were, we weren't at Vicarage Road, we were watching on the TV. Um, how did you, when you came into the job, how did you go about building that, that connection with the fans? Did you think that was really important to do that? Yeah, it's uh, always I give uh, one hour of my day for try to give the social media answer to everybody. And uh, because it's, uh, I don't understand the football without fans. I don't understand uh, the, what we are uh, living every day without the fans. And I put in my, in my schedule, I put uh, one hour for day. It's I see it and answer with everybody for the Twitter. I answered everybody for the Instagram, and uh, it was like that. It's uh, I think it's uh, you give me all the weeks, all the weekends you give me support, and also it's uh, it's important we give back the same the same situation. The, during during your time at Vicarage Road, did you how did you did you feel that did the like during the promotion season did you feel that love from the fans in in that promotion season in particular, because we weren't in the stadiums? Did you, were you, were you like saying that to the players about sort of what you were going to do for the fans? You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, in this case, it's uh, when we promoted and this day without the fans was amazing. But I don't was thinking how is possible to stay without fans, you know, because this day without our people, without our uh special moments without them it's uh it was like that because uh it was all the season all the season without fans is something more like this but uh it's true what i try to tell you it's i feel behind us or every time is uh we have a lucky we sometimes have a zoom with someone or something like this and we feel them behind us and i feel you behind us you know, and we have the contact with this situation. It's, uh, I'm sad because I'm enjoying with the promotion. And also I'm sad I can enjoy the moment exactly with our fans. I think this moment was after our first game in Premier League against Aston Villa. I think it was uh, the very well atmosphere because I think it was this corner, no? It's, uh, everyone was waiting this moment for stay together because the last season we can't, and uh, also was a massive win this day, and I think was everything perfect for for put more uh, the war for the what to feel everyone. No? Yeah, you mentioned there, Cisco, about uh, fans not being able to be there during special moments in the championship. Let's go back to that Millwall game uh, in the game that Watford got promoted. <laughs> Um, do you want to talk <laughs> us through that day? How did it feel when the final whistle went? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's uh, when we <laughs> score and after we have, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or more like this until the final. 
Y se lo... O se lo... You know, it's... I don't know how many times... I don't know how many times I told and I say... Hey, hey, Robert, how many times? How many times? How many times? It's a one time, two times, three times. Wow, you know, it's a, you know what you have inside when you feel this? It's a, you see? It's uh you know what happened without this in this moment behind this moment it's uh everybody in training ground give me 200% for arriving this moment everybody worked very very hard for give this moment everybody everybody no one no give 100% and you know when we arrive and we arrive in the big goal because it's important we know in which point we start It's important we know which point we start and we arrive and we arrive and we arrive and we arrive and every day they want more, 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 more. And this was amazing. But in these 10 minutes, <laughs> the game was very, very slowly. It's fa it's sad, it's very faster. I saw him run slowly, you know, <laughs> because the time was like, you know, was like this. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh, I, know, I know Jacob wants to ask after this a bit about that night and the promotion party. One thing I wanted to ask about kind of the promotion season and is Myla Saar who scored on that day from the penalty and is Myla Saar, I thought you got the best out of him. Maybe the one Watford manager he's had who got the best out of him. How do you think you did that? Was that a kind of man management thing? Um, is it a positional thing with Saar being on the right? How do you think you got the best out of this Myla Saar? You know, I think that is uh, one of the top players. You know, he is, for me, is, uh, uh, I love him. You know, he's uh, like a person and like a player. It's, uh, it's uh, the first day, so we have a different distance. You know, Saar is was like a part of me, like this. But step by step... It's uh, he give me and he show me is a very honest. He give 100% every time in the training, 100% in the for the team, 100% for the club, and give me everything. It's uh, only I have a good words about him because uh, uh, I try to put him in the best condition of him because when he have a space for run and he give the chance for give more this situation for him, and also it's. Our style for the play, we try to give the power for outside because we have for outside a big power. And we try to give the responsibility about the situations. And uh, I, I, I think he enjoy, He enjoy and he feel important player with uh, this system or this style. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a top player, better person. It's, uh, for me, sometimes it's uh, very good when it's uh, maybe today I'm your coach. But tomorrow I want to stay like your friend. And this is for me most important because the, when you are coached, the timing you have when you start, when you finish. But the relation with the life, it's I want when I meet with him with another place, we have sure uh, good words and sure we have. Uh, I'm, I I'm appreciate him. <clears throat> are, you, are you still in touch, Cisco, with any of the players that you worked with at Watford? Do you speak to any of them? Yeah, yeah it's. Uh, It's always, always, you know, because it's, uh, you have a corner with them. And, uh, you know, my management of them is, uh, is uh, when I come back, when I come my first day, uh, I remember it's, uh, I have a legends and have a top players in, a, in the desert room. I'm a new manager, like a new manager. And, uh, and also, it's, uh, I'm like, uh, I, li I want to listen to them how they feel, how is the situation. And uh, also I was player when 10 years ago. And uh, you need to understand the situation. And uh, when I meet with them, uh, I feel uh, like uh, the first personality. And every day I also have a very contact with them when I work and also have a contact with them. I need to know how they feel how they can do better, how I can give better for them, how I can change something for for the group, how I can something for the relation with uh, one situation, another situation, because it's, uh, 
after when the the start of the game is the is for the players, but before it's like uh, how you uh, they arrive, how you try to give them the idea, because the most important is how you give the idea of them, and uh, I have a good relation with uh, with the players. While we're talking about players, Cisco, uh, someone who's had an unbelievable season for Watford this year is Jao Pedro. Uh, now, you had Jao Pedro when he was just 19 in the Championship. How good do you think he could be um, and, and what makes him such a special player? Uh, I remember my first time when I met with Joao. Joao, I don't know if you remember also, he had some problems with the, with the pubis and uh, was like uh, playing no play and... Uh, was one of the, these situations. But uh, it's the same like Sar. I think. Uh, I remember my first time when I called him in my office, Joao was like, like this in my, say, okay, it's a weekend and uh, we stay and we conversate. And when the finally, when we finish, he arrived and we put the food uh, up of the table, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, uh, what I try to explain you, what I try to explain you, is uh, they are the Joao is uh, one of the best players, young players in the in the world. It's the only time, only you need to understand the process. You need to understand. Sometimes he needs you. Sometimes uh, you need you give time for him for half a mistake. For after for him meet the solution. No, you give the solution, and after you try the. the you know, it's uh, for me. It's one of the talents in uh, in the world, like a young players. And I, I don't say hey, no. It's my idea. It's uh, you have the numbers, and you can check. Uh, Joao is the best players in. Uh, but uh, right now, and also, it's uh, I'm very happy because he matured, matured a lot in these years, and now is uh, one of the the best players in the championship. Was there something about Zhao when you first met him that you knew he was a good player? And maybe in terms of uh, just just technically, what what like, attributes did he have that you were like, wow, he's a good player? You know, it's uh, you all have uh, different things, and he improved a lot with about condition physique. You know, now it's uh, for me now it's a uh, more man. When we arrive, it's uh, uh, you see him is a talent in the trainings and every day you can see him. He have uh, uh, the special the special things. He have a goal. He have one against one. He understand the football. In the last part of the when the problem start when the, in the last thirst, he is play very easy and you feel he's something different have. And uh, but uh, when he's eighteen nineteen, is you have some uh, this situation no and also in England football. Because uh, you need to stay stronger. The championship is very hard because you have 46 games. And you and also they stop in the championship, also stop in the international breaks. And after the, 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 the calendar is very, 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 very... You have a lot of games. And the players no, no have time for recovery. You know, and that is, is one of the things I think we manage with him very well in this situation. And we can use him a lot of games and a lot of minutes. And he gives us a very good, uh, very good results. You know, uh, I don't know if you remember, I use him like a striker. I use him like a number eight. I use him for outside like a winger. It's, uh, it's that, but no, it's, I think uh, he gives uh, very good things for, for the team. And uh, he improved a lot, and I think it's now it's one of the the top players in a, in the championship. Well, I want to take you back now to that Millwall game. You've waited the ten minutes, the longest ten minutes of your life, and then when that final whistle went, you could just see the passion and the energy and the release that you were feeling in that moment. After that, you see the players are giving you a bump. And then we saw, like, in the changing room, all the players are spraying you. You're getting your shirt torn off. Tell us about that day. Tell us about the party afterwards. Was there plenty of uh, dancing? Was there plenty of sangria? Was there a uh, sweet Caroline getting played again? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> I tell you, I tell you. If I can come back, if I can come back, i sure I drank a lot. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure. 
because it's sure like that. But uh, in this moment, in this moment, I was thinking for the next game. I am enjoy this moment. I am enjoy. Uh, was the party and uh, you what you say in the dressing room? I say dressing room, and uh, stay uh, one hour or two hours more in the in the stadium. But when you arrive at home, and uh, we rest and we are thinking, I against Brentford. Mm -hmm. I thinking, okay, yeah. we have a next game against Brentford. We can do it uh, something like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. And it was like that. And that after when uh, in the training ground they have a party against after Swansea, uh, I was sick. You I say you. Oh. I say you. Oh. I can, I can oh. enjoy with the party. Exactly. I can enjoy with the party. But if I, now I can take by, i sure I drank in this moment because it's... Uh, <laughs> Amazing. Now it was a, a good moment, but uh, you know, it's you was thinking like uh, how you can manage the next week because the players, I don't want injuries, uh, something like this, like this, like this. How you do this? And uh, sometimes when someone is from party, another one need to keep safe about these situations. You know, it's true. We arrive and we enjoy, and also oof, it's okay. We arrive in our goal, it's true, but it's uh, we have to gain some more and we need to try the good things for for our team. Was there any specific part, players who partied a lot ahead of that Brentford game? It's, uh, I prefer to stay ah, in silence. <laughs> 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 ah, but uh, you can, what you can say is, uh, ah, they give, it's, this is true, this is true. I every day was uh it's when I arrive it's like uh, orange juice we try 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 and we take the maximum until the last day and after we say say today okay we can do it because it's uh, one of the one of the questions is uh, the championship in this situation before we had a lot of injuries and after we the, the team was perfect 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 and when we keep with the the grosso of the of the group was a success, you know, and we can boom 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 boom, boom. and was like this. And this is uh, how they manage all the situation and all the details in this case. And after this, after this week, it's only was my like this. I say, okay, tell me, we give a, a little trainings, we reduce the 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 level of the trainings, but. Okay, we try to keep safe because it's uh, we give two days more like this situation on two or three days. I don't remember exactly, but when uh, two days after or three days after the game, I say okay, finish. We put the focus about the game. No, because you are uh, you you are uh, you play with uh, your t-shirt and you play like this, and this uh, you need to show everybody you are a big professionals and after it like that. And it was amazing because everyone followed the uh, the rules. And they give everything. This the first three days, and after, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and after the last, after the last three days, it was my manager. Cisco, just going back to the squad that you had in that season. Um, obviously, before you came in, I didn't don't know how many players you knew in the team. But were there particular personalities or players that surprised you, or you remember really clearly about what they gave to you? Were there any players that were really good to you when you came in? Uh, it's uh, sometimes when after it's uh, you have a two analysis like a coach because you have the first analysis is uh, how you can watch in the TV when you are far. Yes, it's the first analysis how you are thinking when the first day when you know you sign the new and it is and okay, and the second one is uh, when you are there. Okay, when I, you are there, it's a. Uh, I try the the, the 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 take day day by day day by day uh, more relation with one with another one and uh, was amazing, you know because uh, they know uh, they need change something how we can do it and uh, the most important is. Uh, how we can how we can show everybody we can do in this situation you know how we can change you know because it's uh 
sometimes so uh, some was thinking uh, we are premier i'm player like premier i'm player like a championship it is way how we can give the balance and uh, we try to give the balance we try to, to give uh, clean sheets and this is compromise when all you have a clean sheets is compromised because the player they are working like uh, the same in attack like in defense and uh, we try and we try and we try and we try working every day and it was like this it's uh, no was a surprise what the surprise when i put them outside of the comfort zone they enjoy they enjoy because sometimes when some groups you put outside of the comfort zone they have a time with a freight or something like uh, hey, hey hey i won't come back my place but no it was amazing i put them i give them power i say let's go and everybody everybody boom 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 it was amazing you know it was amazing it's uh it's uh, also I was very lucky, I told you, because I meet in the dressing room good players, but also good person. It's an after when you meet uh, this connection, I think is one of the part of the of the success, you know? I'm just going to ask this, Go, uh, because you talk about leaders there. Um, and we, we heard that there was a meeting held by the players after the Coventry game, led by William Truce to Kong. How big of an impact do you think that meeting had on the season? How you send the message and how they deserve the message. It doesn't matter one game, another game, and uh, I don't know when is the moment when the, the team have click. You know, I don't know exactly in which moment the team is a uh, click and was ready. You know, but uh, it's true. It's uh, like a manager. Sometimes you have uh, a lot of ideas. You have uh, 10 ideas and... Uh, Sometimes you can send the ideas and they put the stop. Sometimes they decide, maybe not decide. Maybe the result, the last game was uh, because they had angry and you send the message, don't send the message. And it was like, uh, and I think the process was perfect, no? Because every time when we send one style new, how we can improve, how we can give better. And it was amazing because they decide and they put and they give and they were the constant also. In the, I remember one day, against Cardiff, it's uh, 94 minutes or 95, I don't remember exactly. They have uh, one foul. You remember this moment? And Mazina take the ball. <laughs> Mazina take the ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, and I say, and I say, Mazina. And Mazina, on. I say, Mazina. And Mazina, when I saw the face of Mazina, Mazina was convinced. Mazina was convinced. This is what when you watch the when when you see the face of him and you feel this situation and say, "Oh my God, Mazina!" And Mazina should have when he scored. Oh, this react, this react is, is the like uh, show when the click. You know, it's uh, who was in the bench, who is outside uh, the, uh, the team manager. Yeah, Marco come inside of like this. It's everyone, everyone. This is like when you feel like the team is click. You know, it's uh, and after maybe you have a lucky, maybe not. Maybe you can win, maybe you can lose. But when you feel the situation is like this, it's uh, feel the players have a compromise with uh, with the situation. Before we move on to talking about your time in the Premier League, Cisco, just reflecting on that season, are you keen to work in England again? Would that be something of interest to you? Because it seems like you really got the culture of English football. You seem to really enjoy the atmosphere and the and the dynamics. Is this something you'd want to do again? The, the, this is true. It's uh, immediately when finishing Watford. I had work in Spain. I worked in the second division in Spain, and I, I always it was like that. And they don't have time. But uh, I won't come back in England. And now I won't prepare another time the situation. And I follow a lot the championship. But we will see if uh, next summer uh, I can start with the one project there. You know, for me, it's uh, one of the important things. Because also the last two, two chances I have for the, the team was in the middle of the season. And uh, sometimes you need to start the process. And you need to start the project. But... Uh, for me, is uh, my focus for the next season is try to, uh, to come back to England, because 
I think it's different. You know, it's uh, the atmosphere, the football, it's everything. It's uh, every day, it's uh, boom, boom, boom. And it's improving, you know. And now it's the same championship uh, today and two, two, days, two, two years ago. No, it's the same. It's always improving. The player have or like they did. They have a better thing. They have a. It's a more difficult, you know. But it's. Uh, I want to come back and I try for the. We will see the season if we have lucky, and uh, we will see. We we would love to see you back in England. Um, you spoke there about that pre-season, how important that is, and obviously after we got promoted, you're about to be a manager in the Premier League. How did you think our preparation was in that summer? And were you happy with the recruitment and the players that we brought in? Was there any players that you would have liked to have brought in as well? You know, you need to, you, you need you need to understand uh, sometimes uh, what is the position when you when you are in Premier League and uh, how the players manage the situation for coming your team and how the timing is for you. You know, it's uh, it's the same. It's uh, you are a top player. You are waiting. You are waiting. You are waiting for this team, this team, this team, this team, and maybe after I can go there. And also, you need and you are waiting this situation. You know, it's uh, it was a a good precision. We have uh, a lot of players, and uh, I know the timing. It's important. You know the context. You know the. The timing, it's a, you know the context and you know the timing, how they arrive and how they can arrive. It's true, Kuka arrived in the last, uh, the last time. Uh, Sissoko also arrived in the last moment. And uh, okay, it's, uh, we, you understand what is the, the context. If you understand the context, you know how you can after, uh, you have to make your plan. It's, uh, if you tell me you prefer the players six weeks before, no, only me, everyone. But you need to understand sometimes the contest and then you need to understand, in this case, what the situation and... I thought was key to us getting promoted was Will Hughes. And obviously there was a situation where he left the club. How important was he for you as a player and was him leaving the club something that you were disappointed with? Do you feel like that position he would have been good in the Premier League? Uh, always. Uh, Will Hughes for me, it's uh, he play like a 3D. No, it's a, he not have the same vision like we have. We check like this and we know more faster than you and me what happened near him. You know, for me, it's like uh, who have the control of the situation. For me, it's the special player. But also, I, I repeat another time the same. It's a, you need to know the contest, you need to know the situation. In this case, uh, everybody know, know was my, know is my job in what for the, the select the players who is coming, who is leaving. Is, uh, this is the situation, you are the manager and you are the manager, and it's like that, and it's finished. Uh, after you can say something about this situation, but uh, for me, Will is a, a special player. He has a talent, he has everything, he has the control for the start building, is perfect because he understands all the situation. You don't need to have a time for show nothing him. It's uh, he control the situation and he control what happened around him. Uh, I know it uh, sometimes happen this situation and uh, both sides try to give all the best for he follow in the club and uh, sometimes happen. You know it's uh, but uh, if I to be honest it's. Uh, also, Wafford tried to give chance for him. The situation was like that. And uh, always I wish all the best for, for the career of him. Cisco, obviously uh, Watford ended up getting relegated last season. Um, you weren't there throughout the whole season. Um, but do you think if you did manage to stay in charge, do you think you could have kept Watford up? Uh... You never know about that. You know, it's uh, you never have in your hands one uh, football ball. You know, you never know. And uh, only I can say is uh, 
it's sure who is coming after give 100 percent but uh, for me it was my life uh 24 hours seven days it's uh because the case is important about this uh it's through the first uh we take one point for games i it's if if maybe it's mistake or not if i, rem- I remember well or not it's uh, seven games seven points and uh, we are like uh, this it's uh, the the objective we have in our head is like uh, the situations and uh, we are the for me it was the moment for continue with building you know it's uh, it's true the premier league is everything is more faster and you need uh, better solutions more faster and you need to have uh, everything more faster but uh, against uh, Tottenham uh, Sissoko have one day was with us and uh, the next is it's it's uh, for me was the first step for the for the try the gift idea for for the team the team was very well because i remember against norwich away was amazing game. yeah you have the control and you control the game and you have a lot of chances and you have a attractive game you know and after it's uh, and the most important i think the player trust the idea it's uh, yeah. when they trust when they trust the idea it doesn't matter it's uh, they follow and this is what i feel when i come back at home i was thinking okay i but i come back at home but uh, the players follow the idea sometimes happen this is football and always i have a good words for watford very good words for watford for everyone is working in watford doesn't matter for me it was a, a perfect moment they teach me a lot every day in the training ground. Everyone, everyone teach me, and uh, this is, I think, is uh, one of the things is uh, you put in your in your team or for you for yourself. You know, is uh, you never know. It's uh, it's difficult because the Premier League is the best league in the world. This is one hundred percent. But uh, for me, give me. Seven weeks more, uh, maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, uh, you, 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 you never, you never know. It's, you need to understand everybody. And okay, it was this moment, and after you never know if the go better or go go bad. Two two questions, Cisco. So the first one from me, and I know I know you've spoken about um, when you left the club, which we were we were sad about. But did you have a feeling? That was coming. Was it? Was it a shock when it when it happened? No, it's uh, nobody. It's uh, believe me. It's. Uh, I think we're building a, a good a good things. It's uh, if you show the team. It's uh, against Wolves at home. Until the last second, we had a chance for win. It's uh, we had the chance. It uh, like all the games. If you tell me uh, which game you know are in the in the game. If you tell me in which game the team were ready for win the game, we play against Tottenham in Tottenham and we have our chance. 1 0 like this. Against Brighton was the more wrong game for me. In this was a more, for me, the more bad game, if you tell me. But uh, the another six game is, uh, you know, you know, watch one team like. Uh, this is only the, the what I feel. Uh, it's uh, maybe maybe I'm wrong, but I feel I feel the team follow the plan. The team believe with this idea. The team understand and the team work very well the transitions. The team keep very well our situation because it's one zero. We won one zero. Always we are in the game. Always, but uh, sometimes happen. Uh, is the decision, and uh, you know when uh, the boss say the decision, you only it understand and you prepare for the next one. And and just just the second thing, Cisco, is really interesting. But when you when you left and you found out you uh, you were sacked, did you speak to anyone? Did you speak to anyone at the club about saying goodbye? Did you go see the staff? Did you how did you? What was that last day like? Did you get to go back to the training ground to say goodbye? Yeah, it's, uh, I say with uh, everyone, uh, goodbye. Uh, 
I have a good relation with uh, Cristiano, with Gino, with everybody, because uh, I try to explain you. It's they give me the chance for enjoy the at home. What hot home? This is never in my life. Nobody take me out this. It's uh, what I feel when you are the manager of Blackboard. What you feel when you have behind you the responsibility, when you have behind you everyone in the training ground follow you. It's like uh, it's amazing. It's uh, it's uh, it's incredible. Believe me. It's uh, how you feel. It's uh, also you. You know, are in shock or you are like that. You are thinking it's you have one day for the start or one day for finish. But uh, for me, the most important is uh, I receive everyone on the turning ground message. Everyone. I can say everybody bye-bye. I have a good relation with everyone there. And this is for me the most important because sometimes when, uh, when you are a manager, it's, uh, you need to know how you can manage the situation because also, maybe you don't remember, but also we have a difficult moment uh, when we start. Also, we have a difficult moment when we start. And, uh, you know, they trust me, they follow me, and they help me, and they give me everything. And this is one of the things It's uh, sometimes when you try to put everybody and you charge everyone for trying to give the better things, it's uh, after the magic is there. And it uh, was like that. And finish like this, I can say everybody. I can come back every day if, you know, for what for the last time when I was there, give me very good uh, chance for everything, and it's perfect. You know, it's uh, only I have a good work with with, uh, with everybody working with me. You mentioned the boss and Gino there. I think there's some fans who might have a negative feeling towards him in terms of the way he gets rid of managers and makes those decisions. What's what's was he like with you? What's he like? How hands on is he on the training ground and stuff like that? It's uh, it's uh, sometimes uh, it's true. It's uh, we are speaking about the results. If we win, if we lose. It's uh, you are good or you are bad. <coughs> Sorry, or something like that. But uh, you know, is a twenty-four hour cliff for this club. This is the reality. It's uh, I come. Uh, seven thirty. He arrives seven thirty, and he. I go at home nine o'clock, and he's there. Uh, nobody told me. I watch this. You know, it's a, uh, is the situation. It's sometimes you can uh, have a good decision or bad decision. It's uh, I don't know. It's uh, I am a president of the one club. It's you need to take a two million decision for day. It's uh, sometimes you have a good decision or sometimes have a bad decision. So it's uh, you need to understand. It's uh, sometimes it's like this or sometimes it's like that. It's uh, only I tell you. It's uh, in this moment, if you ask me, he had to be bold. Put me there when I was in 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 Dinam. He had to be bold. And after I give another time the, uh, the 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 chance, and I put him in the first. But he had to be bold in this situation. This is a uh, how is uh, the, the situation? It's uh, it's only like this. It's for me. I have a bit of respect for him. Is uh, I never say something bad about him. I can stay a court or without no a court if he can give me more time in the Premier League or not. This is only my opinion. But I understand he needs to take uh, decisions and uh, always uh, I have a bit of respect for him because he gave me the first time and he gave me the chance to leave what I, what I, what I left, left, left before about about the club, you know, it's Sunday. It's, uh, I won't put one day in my place, and you feel how you feel if when you are the manager of the Watford and you have everybody behind you about this. You know, it's uh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Cisco, just just going back to um, just going back to when you first joined the club. Did had Gino spoken to you in the club? Had spoken to you before you joined? Was there? Did you feel there was a move coming about? Or was it completely out of nowhere when you joined? Completely out of nowhere. No, no, nobody told me nothing. Really? Wow. Yeah, I uh, suppose uh, it's uh, uh, you. You tell me when they tell me to communicate and uh, for leaving, truly. Really. 
Yeah. You ask me, it's uh, no, nobody told me nothing. Nobody. Nobody. So it's uh, we are we finish leads. It's uh, we have day off next day, and uh, I'm thirty eight thirty. I was in the training ground. Eight thirty. It's uh, I go in the training ground every day, and I eight thirty, around nine nine thirty arrive uh, Cristiano, and he communicated the the situation. It's uh, because always our day off we try to organize <coughs> the week. No, it's uh, and uh, and they told me like this, and I say okay, it's you can say nothing. It's, I give. Uh, Finish. It's uh, because it's also it's one of the part we have a good communicate with the uh, director sportive and we have uh, uh, every day uh, work by uh, work uh, day by day uh, all the time for try to give better things for the players. No, it's and sometimes happen and and you need to understand this is the the football. But what like that day off and nobody tell me nothing. We arrive to the leads. And also the last game in Leeds, Cavacele scored one goal. And I don't know why. <laughs> this, 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 you know, it, it sometimes happened. And uh, was like this. Well, you need to understand and you don't need to understand because it's, uh, I was all my life in football and the dressing rooms. You know, it's uh, like a player, like a coach. It's, and, and you need to understand and you understand all all the situation. We asked uh, followers that we have on social media for some questions to put to you. Um, so we got a lot. We got a lot of questions, Cisco. Yeah, fans love you. Fan, fan, fans are missing you, Cisco. Um, the first one we have is from Ten Pedro on TikTok, and he asked, "What was your favourite win as Watford manager, and why?" Well, it's uh, you know, it's I can tell you by by one because it's uh, everybody give me total different. I remember my first day with uh, Ben Foster. He come with a cam. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> no, not like this. Yes or no? I don't say like this. He told me. I say, what is But the second day is a uh, cup away because the cup away the first day like this. After in my side, when I see it, he see it like this. And it was, you know, I can say it was a special plan. You know, it's, this is one of the lucky we have. Because when you come inside of the one dressing room, you meet him like with 24, 25. And they have a different, and different personality, and different ideas, and different situation, and different moments of the life. And this moment, when, believe me, when I, I never, I know Foster because he's the big keeper. When I saw him, with the same, what is this? <laughs> that was uh, this and after trading, it's, uh, also it's uh, Troy in this, in this moment, they, him uh, help us because he was injured. You remember he was injured? Uh, I don't know if you remember the finish when, uh, when finished the game against Midwall, he come and he give me uh, ho hoots, hands, hoots, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. A, yeah, he give me. And he tried to give everything for outside. I tell him, you come in my office and we drink one coffee and we are speaking about football. But he was compromised, compromised with the team. You know, it's, uh, if I say only one name, he's sure uh, I'm wrong with, uh, because everybody who play, who not play, they understand all the decisions. They understand all the decisions and they put me my day very easy, you know, because they give me this these chances for very well, you know. Well, we had another question from Will Hunt on Instagram and he asked, what was the toughest moment during the promotion season? Was there a particular game which was difficult or something that you thought was a tough, that, a good obstacle that you, you overcame? Uh, I think our tough moment is uh, was when uh, when we arrived. When we arrived, uh, <coughs> you arrive and uh, your first three games: Norwich, yeah, Manchester, and Swansea <laughs> away. Three three games, and you say how you send the message. 
which message you send. It's a how you come inside. If uh, I say, and I say, okay, you remember I say, I'm a winner, we win, they did. <laughs> you remember I say, I have a winner, you remember? <laughs> and after when I say my home, I say, winner, winner, you will see, you, you will see, you have a Doris, you have a Manchester, and you have a Swansea. You say, you will see. I say, okay. But I say, I say okay, you have like this, like this. I was like the situation. And after the team was the moment was, uh, but the first moment was the most difficult, you know, because uh, you try the change. It's uh, the situation was, uh, you come new, uh, like uh, no experience coach, like uh, this situation. And they give me big respect. And for me, this is what most important, you know, and I try them, I say, okay, if you need to understand, it's, we follow this idea, we follow, we follow, we follow. And I think it's, uh, they, when they are thinking it's, I'm honest with them, they give me everything. And this is for me, but the more difficult moment was the first because, <laughs> and it was in short time and we have <laughs> big, big, big games, big games. <laughs> Next question, Cisco, just from the from the people who watch our videos. So Simon on Twitter and a load of Watford fans have asked this and uh, we're, we're interested to hear what you have to say. If Watford came calling again, they phoned you, they said, Cisco, we want you back at the club. Would you take the job? You know, n now it's, uh, they have a manager and we have everybody respect with the manager and uh, have a very good job. And this is the most important but uh, who say not uh, when the bar call, what for call you? Who? It's uh, uh, Kike Sanchez Flores was two times in the world for It's uh, you know, it's, you never know. Uh, it's uh, I wish all the best for them, and I want uh, Billy to stay there uh, a lot of time because he's sure they have a success. And this is the thing. Now it's uh, I wish all the best for him, for everybody. But who say not uh, for come back uh, one place when you feel very well? It's I think it's stupid. I can lie to you if I say no, 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 no. Not it's uh, when you feel well in one place you won't come back. It's uh, sometimes happen in the life. Sometimes, sometimes not happen. Sometimes not happen. You know it's uh, but it's. Now they have a coach. I have always big respect for the coaches. They have all the plays and the situation. And the question is like this, but I won't say it. So when you are, when you feel very well in one place, why not come back? Sure, sure. But definitely, definitely back in England. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, this is one of the things I prepare for the next season. Uh, I think uh, the championship is, uh, one of the championship is, uh, is a attractive competition. Uh, it's uh, you know they have a bigger registers in the, all the games. How you can manage the situation? How you can uh, uh, try to improve the teams and how the man the, how they they can uh, for try the the manage not only the in football also the psychology. You know because the in the championship you have uh, three games in the one week. Maybe you can win three games. Or maybe you can lose three yeah. games, and after maybe you are in playoff, maybe you are outside of the playoff in in seven days. And how you charge the situation? How you charge this? <laughs> you know, is uh, if lovely because always when you are a manager, always this championship try to give your best every day. And this is one of the things I want to come back fit when I come back uh, to England. Cisco, just, just one last question before we wrap up. Um, you met Elton John uh, just before the Swansea game on the last day of the season. What was that like meeting him and, and what did he say to you? It's, uh, you know, when you meet with the big star, it's, uh, you, always, you follow him in the, in, the, in the TV. And not only for this, it's uh, what is the important for the, for the Waffle fans. It's uh, all together was more, 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 more. <coughs> uh, was a, a very good experience 
for players, for me, for everybody. Because when you have like uh, Elton there, it's uh, it was very, very, very well. This is true. He come before the game, and uh, my head was in the game, in the game, in the game. No, it's uh, it's uh, like. Uh, but also, I'm enjoy this situation. I'm enjoy because he give uh, and uh, was very good. And but uh, was. 20, 25 minutes before the game, and uh, we was thinking also about that. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you tell him your, your favorite songs, this guy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, it's uh, it's about, for example, about uh, Sweet Caroline. Yeah. It's, uh, Troy, Troy Dini. Troy Dini we say because always it's uh, we try to put uh, like uh, I don't want. Uh, 10 minutes before or five minutes before the warm up, I won't go to everybody. Say, come on, in five minutes we go. And we put one song. We say, okay, Troy, you select one song. And we put the song. See? <coughs> and Troy select uh, Sweet Caroline. Okay, now it's <laughs> incredible. It's uh, uh, if uh, my daughter listens to Sweet Caroline, send me in the WhatsApp. If uh, <laughs> someone is there, I need to send me the WhatsApp. I, I don't know. Is uh, everybody is thinking I write the sweet color? Right? No, 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 no. no. That is sweet color. Right. Everybody also is my friends. Is uh, they are the, to the party. It's uh, four o'clock in the night. Send me and send me the, the my mobile. He said, no, 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 no. You know it's, but uh, it's always when you listen this song, always uh, you remember. You remember this moment. I think this moment is a, a special moment. You know, the special moments. It's a, it's a, this is the moment the money can't buy. Cisco, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much um, for your time today. And I think on on behalf of all Watford fans, you know, as I said at the top of the show, you're always in our hearts. You're always welcome back at Vicarage Road. Uh, always part of the Watford family and we can't wait to see you back in football soon whether, whether that's uh, yeah hopefully we'll see you in England next summer as you said in the show but uh, thank you so much once again it's been yeah it's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you and and you yeah we, you're really missed here at Vicarage Road. No thank you I think we enjoy in this moment this is the most important we tied uh, the change a different idea so I wish all the best in your channel uh Thank you for showing everybody what uh, what uh, Watford is. It's like uh, what uh, they feel or what the fans feel. And uh, thank you because also I'm enjoying this.